Hi, I'm Buckley, and this is my audition for the Explosion Bus. I can make my arms long. Look at this. Ah, uh, I could also make my arms very short, just like this. <laughs> Previously on Explosion Bus. John and Leo visit Burton's estate with an exciting proposition. I was afraid that you would think that if I made any gesture towards you, it was all about money. Oh, no. We know how to find talent. We know how to inspire people. I think what John's trying to say, if I may put words in your pants for a second, John, is that we don't have money. Right. You know, it's like it's like you're dealing with a startup. We need someone to start it up, right? That's right. I'll tell you what we do know. It's what we don't know. I gotcha. And that's why we came here. Yeah, business model, right? Exactly. Right. I'm just gonna throw this out there. You heard my the money part. Yeah. I don't know if you guys realize this, but I actually have access to. That's not why we came here. A lot of fun. We came to visit. I understand that. What I'm saying to you is, I, I this is something I want to be part of. Did you hear what Burton said a minute ago? He said, if you want to start a business, you have to start it up. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. Say it slow. Hey, if you want to start a business, yeah, you want to starting is you got to start a business. Oh, no, you said it better before. Right. Uh, forget it. Just start it up. Talk about the money you get. Money, yours. Talent search, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All I, fifty states. All, by the way. all not just the forty-six. Originally. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, how are you going to get around? We're going to get. We're going to get a bus. We're going to reef. This. Huh? This is fantastic. If you no. thought for one minute you thought we were here just for the money. No, 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 no. I think this is great. I'd bend you over and do I would give you, how much do you think you'd give us really right We're, now? I mean, let's say, or not. Whatever. Or I mean, we, we'll we talk about specifics okay, later, but later. I mean, you know, let's back to the it, bus later. thing. I mean, I am just so yeah. excited to be on this bus with you guys traveling around this country. And Johnny had a great idea about not bringing you to it. Huh? Hello? Mrs. St. Clair, tell me that's not your real voice, please. Oh. You're welcome. I'm, I'm calling about my son, uh, Jonathan Gold. He will not be able to attend Burton's uh, birthday party this year. Didn't this happen last year? Right. It's, same thing as last year. You know, you get to a certain age, uh, in my case, eight, and you just have so many things going. Oh, this is my father speaking. But with the good, oh, I got to be there. But the good not bringing you. Mm -hmm. You need access to a, a high-speed connection. Oh, I got all the cell phones, all that. You want to be out there in the field, right? Thinking that you're back in the command center, the Pentagon of the command center, in the, the big the, table, wheeling and dealing like wheeling we do. And dealing. You know, I feel like we've sort of rekindled this friendship. Mm-hmm. And I almost don't want to jeopardize it by having you around. Yeah. You know, I it totally makes sense to me, guys. Why do I find it so hard to believe that Burton St. Clair was so quickly talked into financing your dream to create a nationally broadcasted talent show? First of all, don't be so hard on yourself, sir. Um, you strike me as a very bright young man, and I think, um, how old are you, by the way? You I'm in my mid-thirties, which is, look, Burton came up with our entire business plan. He, he's very good at it. I cannot believe this is an actual... It's a Steinway. Gorgeous. Little Burton, do you have a friend over? Uh, yeah, the, a couple of guys came over to see me, talk some business. Well, good for you. Okay, hanging out. That's one. I told, I was the one who said it. If you lost weight, people would like you more. Appreciate it. It's just more attractive. Look at Emily. Look what she's done with her weight. You see what I'm saying? Emily's great. Beautiful woman. All right, now. Don't let anyone touch my piano. No, sir. <laughs> Next time on Explosion Bus, John and Leo hold interviews for an assistant. What is your blood type? <laughs> really? And receive a strange phone call. He wants to shave your balls so that Ron Howard can suck your...